Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCS matchup. Of the map, Busio can always flash in, set up that Magnus Storm crash down combo, and it gives FlyQuest the space to operate and engage those fights. PL on uh, the 30th of July against Lilia, so there is a little bit of precedent for what's happening, and Busio really low. Wait, but Busio is in deep Dead. trouble. The Ignite, that's first blood going over to b -Void once again. Two games out of two. Shot full combo for Talia. They really want to. It's a huge wave. Good ward. It's kind of a fake hawk shot there, but they, that... that <gasps> I, know. Just I mean, it's a decent chunk into Masu. He doesn't go down, but Zazel's going to still continue the charge against Boosie. Oh, Masu is now spot. separated. He's going to look for an execution arrow, but it's not enough. Shopify! I'm going to continue the advantage through Level 6 available. Zazel should be dinging 6 pretty soon. Delicate situation right here for FlyQuest because you know Shopify want to try and dive this. They don't have the Talia with them, so Inspired actually is in the right place. It could go bad. Oh, Shopify thought that they had the advantage, but it's a 3v2. Inspired is at the right place at the right time, but b Boy still steps forward and knows the only way out is at least taking Masu down with him. Zazel going to do his best Spider-Man impression to get the way out of there, but he's locked in. Quad is on the other side and Inspired with two kills in the game. Another... What we were talking about in game one where Shopify, yes, they found these advantages, but they weren't being aware of what is the next best step and course of action. It's not always going super aggressive. Obviously, they needed it when Boogie came... It's not always forcing a fight. Yeah, to just dive bot. I mean, they haven't even gotten plates down bottom with how much of an advantage they've had. So credit to them to being able to get the kills, which they might get more of. Oh, well, they're going to fight and force the fight. Busio gets caught in the face check, but he's going to still engage the fight with the Magnus Storm. B-Boy takes him down. Inspired is here. Seismic shove is massive. Can Boogie finish him off? The oh. Lilting Lullaby is going to put those of them oh. into sleep. The Eve bursts out Zazel, and Boogie is now on the run. Masu can just look for one more arrow. Boogie flashes over the wall. The Seismic shove pushes him back into insanity. Can he look for a trade kill? Oh. And now the calling is opened up. Quad trying to pelt him with these rockets. Boogie doing everything he can to help him. Oh, insanity is not enough to take out FlyQuest jungler. So much gold at that stage of the game. The extra HP from the Leandries. He knows his limits on this champion. He knows how far on the line he can tow to continue baiting Shopify into further bad decisions. As now a three-man dive onto the top side. Whippo already popped the ultimate. He's getting burned down. It doesn't seem like there's any contest. Nice and powered Cole the Meek to sustain him through the dive, but it's still not enough. Shopify will find one and look to take out this tower. And they got six grubs, so they're getting a whole bunch of extra help on this turret. Let's see if FlyQuest can get a counter kill on Insanity, though. Yep, three-man counter dive into the mid lane. Insanity, no chance to survive that one. Inspired with his fourth kill of the second game. Gotta say, that one probably feels a little bit too easy if you're Shopify. Uh, By you make why this... they're feeling so desperate, why they need to press the gas so hard, and it's starting to come at a cost in a few of these situations where they're overlooking some of the variables that could be answered by FlyQuest in response. But Shopify being able to pick up the second tier turret on the top side in trade for FlyQuest picking up the second dragon of the game. But because it cost them the Drake, FlyQuest will still be able to really lead this game out to a long, long, long game. And if we learn anything from... game score means they have not been good at closing out games. Yeah, it's the power of precedence, right? For Shopify, we saw the first three weeks faced in weeks four and five, so... FlyQuest are always going to be able to find a sizable advantage on the other side of the map. This is rather interesting, though. It's uh, Grubs versus a Rift Herald base race edition because they're they're killing inhibitor turrets right now. And Shopify panicking. Boogie joining the fight against Busio's fake god already slammed him into the wall. Already on the hunt for Masu. He's burned the flash already, but the wall connects. Another rock lands for the slow. And Shopify managed to pick up two kills on the bottom inhibitor as well. And because you of the not, you cannot be too hasty with your moves when you're using fog of war to your advantage. Going in maybe once again. Fire face checks. The dredge line does not land. This is all 4v5, by the way. Whippo's just dealing with super minions. Insanity, maybe. Gets tagged by Inspired. Oh, he's, he's locked down. He still has a flash. Can he get out? He flashes to the right side. Zazel doesn't get a chance to lock him in, but it might be Busio that pays the price. Whippo teleports into the fight, tries to stall it as long as he can, but Busio's already fallen. It's a 5 on 4, still available. Quad for has to attend to the super minions pouring into the bottom side of the map. They have that pressure thanks to the couple minute sequence earlier before. Shopify 
claim the first Baron of the game. And then a series win next week, though, would actually make them go into playoffs because they moved to three match wins. So uh, there might be some tiebreakers that prevent that from happening, but they'd have very good chances if they win both of their future two games. Also a fun factor. Now it's just racking up my brain of like, <laughs> well, what other games were the other fastest? They must have all been lane swaps. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say this is probably like the second fastest non-lane swap in ever, and I'm not fact-checking it because it's too hard. <laughs> Our eyes are on this game, and we gotta make sure we are attentive to seeing what Shopify can do with this Baron push. The Weaver's Wall, nicely played by Boogie. Pushes FlyQuest momentarily back. Decent chip damage onto the turret. FlyQuest now trying to lead the charge. Zazel tanks it up. Massive death charge on the three members, and good poke with the calling from Insanity. And this turret is ready to fall. Just a couple more auto attacks. As Fake God, meanwhile, was working through the mid lane, Masu could not hold him off. And now the base has been completely cracked open by Shopify. Shopify getting chance. Hope is rising. 6,000 gold lead. Every inhibitor is open. Quest comes back into this game, they think. Mm -hmm. But it'll be interesting to see how they how they play this out. Just waiting for a possible engage. If, uh, if if basically if Inspired gets the right E on someone, it could mean. Dredge line on the Whippo. Is it the engage? Inspired Q flash right onto the back line. One cleanse on the B boy, but in Boogie. It's forced to pop the stasis. Insanity blows up Busio. Whippo holding everything he can with the Sterex Gauge. Goes in, dies, and Boogie doesn't even go down. Shopify still have five members strong. Fake God could be in trouble. Tries to hop away. Inspired goes in with the Eve, but Fake God flashes away. Whoa. Shopify! With super minions pouring in through the mid wave. There's no chance that they can even contest Shopify. Pick up their second dragon of the game. That does mean the next neutral objective for Earth. play. So much pressure on Shopify right now because this is also been their weakness throughout the split. Unifying as a team on how to close out these games. That's Two a drowsy. Zazel goes in, sacks his life for the cause. Whipple tries to dash onto B Void to capitalize. They find the pick! And FlyQuest are now wiping out two. They wipe out three! Thank God! We'll try to scoop them back and they find a kill on an Inspired. Boogie's still alive. It means Have that to say it. I want to see the banger. Let's see if Boogie can keep their season alive here as Talia. Run Fog, 4K on the Baron. FlyQuest have to be careful about how they handle this. Fake God still in mini form, trying to maintain vision so that Boogie can go in, but he doesn't have Flash. He goes golden with his Zonia's. The turn from FlyQuest. They try to pop him. Massive damage onto two. Oh they got about go Mega. And he's going to look for Fosu next. He's in trouble. Dodges the rock, but Fake God still has to the wall! Fake God with the triple! Keep Shopify alive! It's up to Fake God, Insanity, and Zazel right now. I, Busio's up. Inspired has Flash and R. It's gonna be close here, Jat. Four members for Shopify. Inspired and Busio holding the line, but I think death timers are too short for yeah. Shopify to close out. They just take that time to take out two inhibitors, and that's all they're gonna get. To clean up the back end of this fight on the NAR, where he's now 4-0-5 and again in a strong position. But let's see, we got a fight happening. Oh, inspired. He's got Flash. He has Flash, flashes the dredge line. Busio trying to hold the front line. Meanwhile, Whippo is stalling B-Boy and Insanity on the other side of the wall. Monster trying to pelt him down with arrows. It's up the Fake God quad, already popped Zazel. Fake God doing everything he can to hold it. Whippo is still lurking in the shadows, but B-Boy has some vision as he flashes over the wall away from Busio. Insanity finishes off Whippo. Now here comes Shopify Rebellion. Maybe for the second fight, Busio's popped, but by B-Boy, but I don't think it's enough for Shopify Flyquest to- FlyQuest is doing so much to keep this game alive. Inspired is finding so many picks. It feels like there's always a Rel and a Renekton on a flank, but Shopify is surviving. State. Doesn't get much better than this. Two waves of supers and Baron minions in the top side. You'd want to be able to break all three inhibitors and then slowly move up to the top or FlyQuest overcommits to defending this Baron wave. Your two waves of supers can reach the Nexus turrets and you can start killing these. They're pushing in super minions on the Nexus Tower, empowered by the Baron buff. FlyQuest doing what they can to hold the line, enduring the siege, but the top inhibitor falls thanks to Fake God. Busio attempting to weave his way around and look for a flank, but FlyQuest knows that the only way forward is from under the Nexus Towers as they now try to hold on. The engage on the Whippo, he's blown up! Shopify with the first kill. Inspired is next. FlyQuest down to their last three members for the base defense. Here comes Fake God. A 
flash from Quad, keeps himself alive, but Boogie sends it on the Quad instead, down to the last legs, but Shopify still stand tall and keep their playoff dreams alive. Let's go Shopify, bringing us to a third. These were the best highlights from today's LCS matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.